there, Mountain View Baptist Church kids. I'm so happy to see you. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I am very excited because tonight you have a special treat. You get to hear from Brother Timothy Fortenberry, who teaches our fifth and sixth grade Sunday school class here at the church. And also, if you haven't noticed yet, down below in the description, I have a link that you can go to and you can print off a coloring page for your dad because as you guessed it today is Father's Day and you can color some cards for him their little bookmarks is what they are and he will be so excited to see that and every time he uses those in his books he'll think about you and you doing that for him so you can go there and print those and um, I hope that you are excited about hearing Brother Fortenberry as he shares with us what God has laid on his heart a very uh, applicable message about Father's day talking about Jesus being about his father's business. So grab your Bible and listen and be ready as Brother Timothy Fortenberry gives you today's lesson. Miss you kids and I'll see you um, next week. Bye bye. Hey kids, parents, random person that clicked on this video by mistake. Today's lesson we're telling the story of Jesus and his parents as they were traveling to Jerusalem headed for the Passover. Now this is a huge feast that they had every year. And this year, Jesus was 12 years old and they took him with them. They were going to the Passover and a ton of people were there. It was like a family reunion for them. They had them and their cousins, aunts, uncles, all these people went on this huge trip to Jerusalem. And they went, they had the Passover feast, and they spent all their days there until the feast was over, and then they were headed back. But what they didn't know was that Jesus wasn't with them. Like, Mary and Joseph had no idea Jesus was still there. They went a day's journey, still going, not realizing Jesus wasn't with them. They thought, eh, he's with, you know, his aunt, his uncle, one of his cousins. You know, he, he's somewhere. He's Jesus. He, he's the perfect kid. He, he's somewhere. And so they kept going, but on the, after a day's journey, they looked around and said, like, you know, I haven't really seen them in a while. And so they went over and was like, hey, Cousin Mark, have you seen Jesus? Hey, Uncle, have you seen Jesus? Hey, Cousin, have you seen Jesus? We lost Jesus. Oh, my goodness. We lost Jesus. How could we lose Jesus? We had one job, and we lost Jesus. And so they, were, they went all the way back to Jerusalem. And they, they were looking for him. Now they were a day's journey. So it was a whole day's journey back to get back to Jerusalem. This whole time, they had no idea where Jesus is. And they go, they get to Jerusalem, and they find him. And it says, he was just sitting, talking with the, the wise men and the scribes, asking them questions and answering questions. He was content as can be. You know, he wasn't worried at all. He wasn't running around frantic. He wasn't scared. He wasn't wondering where his parents were, why they weren't there. He was just teaching these people as if that's where he was supposed to be. And they came up to him. And in verse 48 of Luke chapter 2, um, it says, and when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee, sawing. And he, it's like, Jesus, Jesus, we've been worried sick about you. We've been looking all over the place. We were walking around. We asked all your aunts and uncles. We've been scouring Jerusalem now. You've been missing for three days. We've been looking everywhere. And you're just sitting here. And Jesus says, and he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? It's like, hey, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, didn't you know I was supposed to be about my father's business? Now, what was his father's business? Do y'all know why Jesus came to this world? Now, whenever Jesus says, my father's business in the scriptures, or the work of my father, or the will of God, he's always talking about the ultimate purpose for which he was sent. 
and that is the salvation of all men. For the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us, Lord, not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. That means God wants the entire world to be saved. And when Jesus says, the will of my Father, or the walk of my Father, whenever he refers to that in the scriptures, he's talking about his ultimate purpose to come to this earth, live a perfect life, and die as the payment for all sins. That is his goal. That is the will of his Father. There is nothing more important than that, that he save all mankind. And that is what he was walking towards. That is why he was in Jerusalem. He was about his Father's business. As it said, it's like, hey, I've got this ministry. I have to save the entire world. That's what I'm doing. And they said, but the parent, his parents were all worried, didn't understand what he was saying. They didn't understand that that was his, his purpose right now. That's why he stayed behind. Now, what, what did Jesus do next? You think Jesus said, hey, so y'all go ahead, y'all leave, I'm done. Y'all have a good life. I'm going to keep walking here. I got stuff to do. I have to save the entire human race. And he didn't say that. He didn't say that. It says, even in verse 50, it says, And they understood not the saying which he spake unto them. He didn't, they didn't understand what he meant when he said, I must be about my father's business. But he didn't just cast them off. He didn't say, hey, I created the entire universe, which he did. He's Jesus. He created them. He created everything. There was no higher authority than God. And he didn't say, I don't have to listen to you. He said, the Bible says in verse 51, And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject unto them. See, even Jesus, even Jesus who created the entire universe, even Jesus whose mission was, whose goal was to save the world, even he obeyed his parents because it was right. It was what he was supposed to do. He obeyed his parents. He didn't just cast them off. He didn't say, I, I am God. I am the Son of God. Me and my Father are one. I don't have to obey you. I have ultimate authority. He didn't say all that. He obeyed his parents because that's what you, he was supposed to do. Because the Bible says, Obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. And so he did. And so, kids, what do y'all think sometimes? You think, I mean, yeah, my, my mom told me to do this or do that, but I don't have to listen. She doesn't understand how important this video game is. If I stop playing right now, I'll lose all the same data. I'll empty the trash in a few minutes. It's like, no, you obey your parents. There's nothing more important. There's no authority higher than, higher than God, and even Jesus obeyed his parents. Well, that's pretty much the whole lesson. It's not a very long one, I know. It's kind of a short video, but it's just really simple. Obey your parents.